everybody, Ryan here with Miller Sports and Wellness Chiropractic. Thanks for joining me on this month's video blog. This month I'm going to be talking a little bit about American football. A question that I've been getting not only in the sports medicine community but also from the general public continues to be the looming question that everybody's wondering about. The question is, is American football dead or is it on its way out the door? And what I want to do is take a series to kind of dissect that and take a look at the ins and outs of is the answer yes, is the answer no. And I have my personal opinions, but I want to start with looking at the facts. So in order to first start to answer this question, we have to look at football participation. And it makes most sense to look at the high school and youth football levels. Because if we're seeing an increase or a decrease in participation at the youth levels, that is likely going to carry into the college and professional levels. That's where we're going to start today. We're not going to spend a whole ton of time today on the question of why this is actually an issue, but we're just going to look at some statistics today. So I found some statistics from the National Federation of State High School Associations, and this information is valuable because it gives us numbers of participation, particularly with full contact 11-person football and also flag football, both are at the high school levels. I put together a graph that represents high school tackle football participation from 2002 all the way to 2015. I use these two years because those were the uh, earliest that I could find that was available on this site and the most recent. So as you notice on this graph, there's actually a pretty steep increase in participation all the way up until 2008. And then you see a bit of a slow steady decline with a little bit of a dip upwards in 2013 and a continual downward trend since 2008. Interestingly enough, when you look at high school flag football participation, you see an overall increase over the past 13 years. For the first several years, you don't see any boys participation in flag football until 2005. Then you see a slow steady increase after that with a more steep increase after 2013. As you see high school tackle football slowly decreasing in participation, you also have flag football rising at a bit more of a steep rate. So now let's take a look at youth football. When it comes to youth football, I couldn't find any real reliable sources that gave good hard numbers other than a few articles from ESPN, things like Sports Illustrated, other bloggers that have pulled statistics from different websites, which again, I can't necessarily speak to their validity or their accuracy. But overall, the articles that I found reported that since 2010, there's been a decline, especially in 2013. I found a lot of articles in 2013 that were reporting a sharp decline in youth tackle football participation. I also found a few articles in 2015 that reported a rise in youth tackle football participation. So, you know, the, the numbers are really up in the air at this point. I don't really know. I can't give, it, give any hard evidence to suggest that, yes, absolutely, youth football is in decline. But what I have been seeing over and over again in the articles that have been coming up either on social media or just things that I've done based on my internet searches, that flag football is becoming much more popular. And it seems to be the trend is going in that direction. So it's possible that flag football is the future of youth football and tackle football is at least heading in the direction of being somewhat phased out. I'm sure we'll find out in years to come as these trends continue to take place and we will definitely keep you updated. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this month's video blog. Next month, we're going to delve into a little bit of why these trends are happening, talking about injury incidents, and some of the things that have developed over the past five to 10 years in terms of our education and awareness surrounding head injury specifically, and why we might be seeing some changes, small and large, in the game of football moving forward. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Miller Sports and Wellness is a full-service chiropractic and sports medicine office in Greenfield, Wisconsin. We treat a wide variety of patients from the young to the young at heart, from the beginner to the professional, and from the weekend warrior to the industrial. We specialize in getting to the root of your problem by taking a global approach to patient care, not just treating the site of pain. Come experience the cutting-edge difference at Miller Sports and Wellness Chiropractic. Book your first appointment by calling our office at 262 366-3655 or by visiting our online scheduling system at www.
www.millerswc.com. Miller Sports and Wellness, helping you get to the root of your problem.